The political parties and electoral commission are crucial in promoting peace and tranquility ahead of the upcoming general elections. But recent conflicts arising from limited voter registration have raised concerns among stakeholders. The board member of the National Peace Council, Movi Mohammed bin Sali, urged the Electoral Commission to be diligent in fulfilling its duties and urged political parties to be mindful of their statements when addressing grievances. Independent they are, yes. But that doesn't stop them from listening to the Ghanaians, listening to the wisdom from our elders and so on and so forth. They should not, under any circumstances, hide behind the independence to refuse to consult and listen. If they put their act together and do it well, they can put Ghana together and they can place Ghana on a pedestal of peace and progress. But if they do not put their act together well, they can also break Ghana and uh, posterity will not forgive them if it so happens. The Deputy Minister for the Interior and MP for Gumwa Central Nana Eyia expressed government's commitment to maintaining peace and working closely with the security agencies. The ministry is doing its best because you know the police are our backbone. They are going to work very, very well that there will be a peaceful election. I know they know what to do, but we are so asking that they should do more because it's like there are some statement that people are doing that is bringing Ghanaians to a panic. The National Election Response Group, NEG, was established to discuss, develop and recommend strategies for handling violent threats during the upcoming general elections. Our hope is that in the various decentralized structures of the various political entities, some of these messages of peace and some of the options or possibilities of engaging uh, foot soldiers and so on are activated. Indeed, the broader Imam project that we are implementing in partnership with the National Peace Council offers some opportunities also to engage beyond the leadership of political parties. As the December 7 general elections approach, Ghanaians are urged to cherish the peace and security currently enjoyed in the country.